Hello, my name is Leo Rodriguez. Welcome to Series Exam Review Part 3. In this uh, Part 3, identifying and managing risk scenarios, we will look at questions related to uh, understand how to identify and categorize risk factors, learn to develop and analyze risk scenarios, and develop and manage a, reg, uh, a re, uh, risk register. Question one, which term describes a potential risk, a risk event that can affect an organization? And the correct answer here is risk scenario. A risk scenario describes a potential risk event that can affect an organization. Question two, which of the following could initiate a risk scenario? And the correct answer is a threat agent. Question three, risk scenarios are all the elements of risk except for blank and blank. Choose two. And the correct answers are likelihood and impact. Question four. Blank are elements that influence the development of risk scenarios as well as their likelihood and impact. And the correct answer is risk factors. Question five. All of the following are considered external risk factors affecting development of risk scenarios, except for which one? And the correct answer is organizational structure. Question six. You are developing risk scenarios and are considering how different circumstances involving timing of the scenarios might affect their likelihood and impact. Which of the following would most likely increase the likelihood and impact of different risk scenarios? And the correct answer is a hacking attack that occurs during an out-of-state out IT conference that most of the organization's information security personnel will be attending. So a hacking attack that occurs while most of the company's IT security personnel are away would have a serious impact on the entire organization and could even be uh, more likely if the attack were planned during this time. Question seven, which of the following approaches to risk scenario development begins with business objectives and attempts to identify risk scenarios that could affect those objectives? And the correct answer is a top-down approach. Question eight, which of the following approaches to risk scenario development uh, brainstorms all the possible risk scenarios that could occur in the organization? And the correct answer is C, the bottom-up approach. Question nine, all of the following are organizational factors influence influencing risk scenarios, except which one? The correct answer is D, market trends. So market trends are not organizational factors. 10, which of the following are concerns with the IT infrastructure in terms of how it affects risk scenarios? Just all that apply. And the correct answers are level of modernization, level of performance, internal and external interfaces and uh, connections. So all of these are concerns with how the IT infrastructure would influence risk scenarios, except for cost. Uh, cost would be a concern about how the IT infrastructure is used to respond to risk, but not necessarily its influence over the likelihood or impact of a risk scenario. Question 11. Which of the following are two elements that are critical in risk scenario development? Choose two. And the correct answer here are A, asset identification and valuation, and D, threat assessment. So to develop risk scenarios, you need to know details about assets, such as criticality and their value, 
uh, vulnerabilities, uh, threat ages, and threats. Uh, and likelihood and impact are not necessary to create risk scenarios, but they are necessary to evaluate and assess risk. Question 12, which of the following would be considered primary stakeholders with regard to risk scenario development? And the correct answer is D, asset managers. An asset manager would be considered a primary stakeholder since that person is directly responsible for the risk an asset incurs. Question 13, which of the following are factors of organizational structures that could have uh, an effect on likelihood and impact of a risk scenario? Choose two. And the correct answers are B, budget or resource allocation, and D, organizational chain of command. So both chain of command and resource allocation are factors of organizational structure that could affect risk scenario likelihood and impact. Question 14. Compliance is a factor that influences risk scenario as a direct result of organizational blank. And the correct answer is C, governance. Question 15. Which of the following levels of risk appetite and tolerance could contribute to an increased number of risk scenarios as well as higher likelihood and impacts? Choose two. And the correct answers are A, higher risk appetite level, and C, higher risk tolerance level. Question 16. Which of the following describes a management product that is used to track risk scenarios? And the correct answer is risk register. Question 17, which of the following determines how a risk register is created and maintained? And the correct answer is risk management strategy and plan. Question 18, who is responsible for creating and maintaining the risk register document? And the correct answer is the risk owner. Question 19. Which of the following do risk scenarios typically map to on the risk register? And the correct answer is assets. Question 20. Which of the following data elements should be recorded on the risk register? Just all that apply. And the correct answers are A, risk factors and scenarios, B, information concerning assets, and C, impact and likelihood. All right, so that was the end of part three. Uh, in part four, in the next vi video, we will cover questions uh, related to risk assessment and uh, analysis. See you then.